Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. All right, Mindy, the Miami Heat are uh, ready to... Uh, uh, Play game number four at home with a 2-1 lead here. And, well, I tried to get on the Knicks last game. And, man, it's fun. Why did I do that? Because, I mean, I've been, I, uh, you know, of course, I because I want I faded the heat all season at home and I still right. want to score the well. But I've been saying uh, throughout, you know, even in the heat's uh, first round upset, uh, you know, they've got the hottest coach in the playoffs. It feels like to me. Uh, even able to negotiate with Butler's uh, game time decisions, but uh, just I, uh, you know, Spo to me is the most underrated coach still in the league. He was boy genius back in the day, and I think because the Heat haven't been prevalent, people just kind of forgot that uh, you know he is that guy uh, on the bench. So, and especially when we're seeing some of these coaches. You know, guys like Doc Rivers, uh, you know, even Ham to a certain extent. He's getting a lot of accolades now because of the uh, the Lakers surge. But uh, Heat going to be favored here. Uh, they've got the respect back, four and a half, and the total 206 and a half. Well, I mean, I just kind of feel like, you know, the Heat have kind of just outplayed the Knicks here as well. I think they only lost the – you know, the close one there in uh, in New York to kick off the series. Uh, Knicks only scored 86 there in game three, shot only 34% from field goal range, 20 from three points. Uh, I just feel like the Heat uh, here get this one again. They're four and one against the spread versus the Knicks here uh, at home, especially when they're off of some arrest. Going to go ahead and take that Heat team here today. Lay the points. All right. I'm going to do it as well. I don't like what I see right now out of the Knicks. What is going on? Uh, they, you know, I, I think we see what's going Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe my premise on the bench is not supposed to be about the coaching, but I don't know, all of a sudden, uh, Brunson probable. Butler is questionable again, so we'll see. I'm sure he'll be in there. He seems like he's in there every time. And here's the thing. It's kind of like uh, with yesterday where, uh, you know, with, with Embiid, right? I mean, I didn't think that – I mean, I'm saying I mean a lot. Like I'm very uh, indecisive about some of these losses with the Boston-Philly game. I guess it landed right on the total. I went under in the game, but uh, the overtime did me in. It slowed down tremendously. But uh, in that game, Mindy, of course, when I handicapped it, I know that Embiid was questionable, but I didn't think it was really a question of him once he declared in, we would see that type of line move because I thought it yeah. was kind of assumed. So it was funny that the line moved there when he was declared in. I was expecting him to be declared in, even with his questionable status, kind of like Jimmy Butler here today. I don't think there's going to be a question. He's been on that injured list. He still finds a way. Uh, into uh, the lineup. So uh, that line moved, you know, could this one move again today once Butler is ruled in? They're already a four and a half point <laughs> favorite. Right. Nothing against, uh, so, you know, let's get on him early, obviously, because uh, he, with that questionable status, I believe he'll eventually be ruled in the game. And with a player like Jimmy Butler, could Miami be a six-point favorite by uh, tip-off here? Uh, a few more. Uh, Haslam is probable in this game. He better be probable. We just, I just saw him uh, at the game yesterday doing the horn there in, in Florida. <laughs> so, uh, he hasn't been a big, not a huge factor in the uh, series, but I just saw him on the injury report, and I saw him with the Declare uniform yesterday at the Florida Panthers game. So they still have those uh, injuries at guard, but again, that's been kind of the funny thing about the coaching and everything, where uh, they've been able without the two guard. You know, Lowry's looking like you know 
it was funny because he moved to uh, the heat and all of a sudden Lowry was washed up. So, but the guys and all the guards have done a nice job there. So, hey, want to say hello today to Cocaine Ninja uh, here today. <laughs> it's a great pick with the Kraken, Mindy. And, uh, yeah, boy, uh, uh, they smashed him. I went against Mindy for that was that was game I'm kind of referring to when I said uh you know you gave me a chance <laughs> a butterscotch on Miami Bionic hates basketball yeah. that <laughs> oh, takes 25 percent of the big sports off the table for Bionic <laughs> <laughs> cocaine ninja is gonna say Knicks are not scoring right now they don't have an answer right gonna need them to shoot better. Here's Brent Cook on the heat. Crush going to go with the next money line, though. And, uh, yeah, Randall will have to heat up, I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> right. right. You're not going to doubt uh, that's what Crush said. It's all up to Randall, and that's just been it. Knicks money line for Corday. There is support here for the Knicks today, no doubt. Uh Maybe the zigzag for them. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Yes, Miami terrible against the spread at home during the Reds regular season. Downright awful. And uh, Crest says the Knicks can't shoot that poorly again. But I would just argue that, uh, you know, they're getting their, they're in their heads a little bit. And uh, Moneyline says uh, he's on the heat. He's on the heat money line. Wow. on the money line. Yeah. You don't have to correct. We know what you meant, money. No, line. I know. I just liked it. But I like money line too. I, <laughs> I just liked how it sounded. <laughs> I'm going to be on the money line. Wow. So, yeah. Okay, Mindy, uh, we'll take them. Let's lay it. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I, and that's another factor. I mean, these are the playoffs, and yeah. now we're starting to lay points with a team that's terrible. Zone favorite. It's even bigger this game. I think mean, that's why. Uh, it feels a little bit uncomfortable, maybe, just maybe, but not the way it's going right now. It just seems like the uh, Heat are feeling it all of a sudden. And, man, to get a 3-1 lead, we know how important that can be. And we'll be on them today. Mindy and I lay the points. All Let's right. Let's do it. All right. All right, another team that can go up 3-1, and they could do it against the defending champs. And considering where the Lakers were and where they are now, like I said, Ham getting a lot of credit. At one point, he was looking like he didn't have an answer with the team. Palinka revamped the roster. Um, he was under the under the under fire, under criticism, and he turned it around with the team. And now the Lakers can go up three to one tonight against the Warriors. But if any team you know, they're not going to knock them out. Uh, <laughs> might be the Warriors, but uh, Lakers all of a sudden at home. What do we got, Mindy? Well, we know that the Lakers shot total lights out here in game three, shot 52% from the floor, 48 from three. The Warriors, on the other hand, couldn't even get to like 40%, 30%. I think the Warriors are going to come out with a better game plan here for Davis tonight. That's kind of how I see this one. I think Curry's going to kind of help everyone else get involved. I kind of like what Thomas is thinking here. Uh, you know, I've been on the Lakers a lot. I think this is the one here that the Warriors might go ahead and uh, and grab here. They are, again, 4-0 against the spread, off of a loss here as well. I'm going to take the Warriors today. Get a Maybe little bit I do not – Mindy and I do not discuss the games prior to. We don't communicate on who, what are we going to pick. Uh, I agree. I think this is the spot where Coach Kerr, uh, you know, I've given Coach Ham credit, but this is the spot where given what I expect from uh, the Warriors, maybe they'll still lose this series, right? I mean, the Lakers still uh, – I, I mean, I like the Lakers' chances a whole lot better than I did last week. <laughs> I mean, you know. Butterscotch likes the under. But we're going to go two for two in the NBA tonight. And I've got the Warriors in this one. Uh, you know, I, 
Probably got them on the money line, but I know we'll take the points just in case. Yeah. You just don't expect a Warriors team to get uh, blown out again by 30 points. I mean, that was uh, scary. Uh, you just don't see that. So Warriors have been a team that have responded in the past to big victories. But they're still the Warriors on the road. I get that. Now, Lakers minus three and another 20-point Lakers win. It was 30, right? It was 30 <laughs> last year. But he says maybe it'll be 20 tonight, I think. Cocaine Ninja. Uh, Warriors win and go over. Lakers win, it goes under. I, uh, yeah, and that, that could indeed be the case because then that – you figure if the Warriors do lose, it's going to be another clunker of offense, and you just didn't see that. Yeah, well, uh, Corday, uh, Golden State plus three. AD is up and down. I don't know. Right now he seems to be up, <laughs> uh, quite frankly. I know what you're saying, Corday. We know AD can be a little sometimes in. Right now it doesn't seem like he could. Hey, he couldn't have a bad game if he tried, but. I'm going to trust Kerr. I'm going to trust the Warriors here after what happened. PZ says they are not going to win in L.A. Darren says Lakers for sure. And, oh, so. Yep. And Cocaine Ninja talking about the free throw advantage. Here's Solo here today going to go on the under in this game. Yeah, maybe, but, man, the number seems to – 227 and a half again. All right. All right. All right, Mindy. Well, we're we'll going right. a couple of sides here. Boudreaux's here today. And uh, he says, uh, we'll take the Lakers. Okay. Seems like I'm going to call it for the Lakers in the chat. Just to, so gonna, yeah, I think I'm going to call for the Lakers. The chat wants the Lakers, uh, but we're going to. Uh, kind of veto here. We've got a couple with us, and uh, we'll take the Warriors. So, Heath and Warriors tonight, NBA, two games in the playoffs. Okay. All right. So, thanks for watching, and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.